The Cuckoo Lane practice is a nurse-led practice. We employ six nurse practitioners. We have three practice nurses, two healthcare assistants, practice administrators that are also receptionists, and we employ a GP um, for approximately three to four hours every day. We knew we needed to change um, because, because of having so many part-time staff, and staff would say that you know, it was difficult to keep on top of the sort of all the issues going on. We set up the five minute, five point huddle, and that was about just over three years ago. We'd always had a very proactive approach to trying to communicate, and we had lots of meetings, but I think there was probably a lack of communication across the different disciplines. One of the reasons for introducing um, the huddle was to try and reduce unwarranted variation. An example might be around antibiotic prescribing, so this might be something that we would discuss during our huddle. Although you're always going to have individual clinical judgment, the themes um, around, for example, prescribing around a virus, we want all the clinicians to be providing that same message, and that hopefully cuts down that variation in, in, in clinical judgment. Um, we're having the huddle, everyone. Come to reception, please. Thank you. We led the change around int introducing the huddle by um, consulting with staff first of all. We, we do it twice a day, at 5 to 8 in the morning and at 5 to 2 in the afternoon before we open. We go round um, and say, you know, has anyone got anything they want to raise? We try and get everyone to engage um, and the, sometimes it's harder to get um, some of the more junior members of the team to engage, but we really do try and we make sure that there's the opportunity for them to speak. And, Sean's away, and that so. means that patients are getting us the same consistent message. We created a pro forma and on that pro forma there was room for five points to be discussed and, and the reason to keep it at five points was to keep it manageable. Starting a twice daily team briefing, it's a great thing to do because it really does make a positive change in the practice. But you need somebody, um, a leader, somebody with, um, with drive and inspiration who's going to champion the whole process. So the message I would give to anybody who wants to make a positive change in the practice is to get staff on board. Ensure that you are listening to everybody's views and if you can and those views are, are valid, use those ideas because they will be embedded because staff will believe in them. Our meeting times are more productive. I think the more productive you can be, um, the more time you can spend with patients and the better for patient care.